All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, warshippers of all ages, welcome to Game 5 of the North American Finals here in the Warship Spring Championship 2022. We're down to one last game for all the marbles here between KSC and 07 as we zone into Crash Zone Alpha. Zath, what is KSC fielding in this match? So in this particular battle, KSC is bringing uh, Incomparable and... KSC. Did I say... Oh, I was, I was like in 07. Sorry. <laughs> oh, there's, there's too many Johns getting confused. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> KSC is bringing Conqueror, Kremlin, Des Moines, Minotaur. Now, is that a Manitar? Yes, it is. It is, of course, a Manitar. Uh, and then we've got Napoli gearing Shimakaze with 20 kilometer torpedoes, Harugumo, and Ragnar. What do we have for 07? From the south, 07 is bringing an incomparable, as I've mentioned, Marin. Really enjoying this ship today. Eagle Lance's Kremlin, Des Moines, Salem, and Stalingrad, fronted by three, four destroyers, excuse me, gearing Marceau and Shimakaze. And we're already seeing Zaf, mm -hmm. both the, a Marceau and a Shimakaze going north up mm -hmm. the eight line, mm -hmm. a gearing and a Marceau going due west, more or less, along the H line with their speed boosts all engaged, trying to get to these caps as quickly as possible to start picking up points. Well, that's right. Um, and, you know, we're, we're kind of seeing the same thing happen now. Uh, Mad Dog Shimakaze is running the 12 kilometer torpedoes. We'll have to see if that has an impact in this particular battle. <laughs> kind of makes sense on this map, I think. Um, so I do like what we saw before. KSC was on the opposite spawn, I believe, on this particular map uh, when we saw them earlier today. But they're basically doing the same play. Cowboys going in, smoking at Pataka Yoshi's Minotaur, getting him ready to go, all that good stuff. We, we know that he's going to loop back around and take him to the next place. And it's basically he's linking up with his friend, dropping his friend off in smoke, and then going to go link up and grab him again. He's basically playing soccer mom. He is indeed. We're just a little over two minutes in. His Cowboys gearing picks up the B cap. KFC will start taking their points total up as Mad Dog Shimakaze steps on the sea of north. Malikin's Ragnar running as quickly as he can in that direction. Well, he was. He's turning away now. Mm -hmm. Now, you can see that, that KSC, of course, Chaos Time, we saw them. They played the South Spawn on this map. Correct. Which is a little less critical for this kind of hook play that we see so many teams take up to the A cap and then back down the 10 line. But they seem to have a plan for this as well. Arugamo, Des Moines, and Aegis is Napoli headed in this direction. Red Five's Kremlin kind of playing well behind them. I don't know that I like uh, KSC just seeding A to 07 just like that. I mean, yeah, Aussies... They, they kind of did, didn't they? Yeah, Aussies just dumping those 20-kilometer torps, which mm. you'd expect. And I think yeah. the thing is, once we start seeing 07 picking up those 20-kilometer torps, I mean, you can you can tell they're 20s yeah. because of the detection range and the relative speed. That tells them, okay, Aussies over here. That tells them, if that's the case, he's set up to kite and all that good stuff. The action is going to be at sea. Now, Marin might actually take one of these fancy torpedoes right in the bow, I think. Nope, he slowed down just in time. Well, that engine boost actually helps you slow down, but Oxymoron might take a torpedo here. No, nope, he does the same thing. He's yep. good. Fine. Turn out, pull the, pull the handbrake, slow down, and let your ship settle there. So those torpedoes have done a very nice job of slowing down two of 07's core assets in that push. Yep. But the big question is, when is this push going to happen up at sea cap well i gotta say you know we commented yesterday who was it we watched that took so it was bn bn that took so long six minutes to kind of get that push going uh -huh. and we're already seeing it we're four minutes in and ksc is probably on the verge of being able to start this when they're ready but the trick is is that 07 feels ready for this eagle lance's kremlin john the ruthless is salem are both back there ready to receive all of this so this may not go quite the way KSC wishes, and I mean they are flipping C now, so that's encouraging, and, and they're and they're for them at least. Yeah, they're going to be able to pick up the C cap, and you know only 20 points between these two teams. It's still early, but um, they're going to have to see how KSC adapts their plan here because the forces they have on the board won't allow for much many other options here. They just they've, they've really shorted the A cap. Yeah, and it's it's interesting to see KSC basically using the same playbook as before. Mm. Uh, you know 07 watches these battles. You know that 07 does their homework. KSC is doing something different this game. What I'm seeing oh. is, they, well, remember, they spawned on the south side last oh. time we saw them earlier. Yeah. So completely, what we're seeing is a completely different strategy from them because they spawned on a different end of the map. 
Okay, that's fair. The, the reason I bring that up is because typically the, the north side goes to C and typically the south side goes to A. Now that's true. So that's kind of what I was getting at. And that's then, you true. Know, commence toilet bowl. Yes. Moin radar going up from Warp Chaos does spot John the Ruthless's Salem back there on the 10 line. Mm. The elite's got an idea that he's there. Man with an RX-7, Tarugamo going to take the opportunity to farm some free damage off of John because, well, he's well outside of what would even be a regular Des Moines radar range, much much less the little T-Rex radar that, that Salem has. That's right. Now, these 100-millimeter guns, they will penetrate the Salem right off the bat, won't they? No, they're um, 25 without no, IFAG. They, they get quarter pin. Yeah. If he's taking IFAG, then then yes, they will definitely get some right. Salem's got 27 millimeter armor on the on the bow and stern. Correct. Although right now most of them are going into the superstructure and falling on the deck. He gets a couple of fires, or at least one fire there. Yep. Which of course Salem, Salem doesn't really care about fire. She can just heal through most of that, right? Salem doesn't care about fire as long as it has time to heal and regenerate that heal again. Yep. Ben doesn't care about fire. Aegis is Napoli now moving up alongside his teammate here. As JD Red 5's Kremlin off his starboard side starts to kind of make the turn as well. They've already farmed away about half of this Salem's health. I've, John's got to pop his fancy heel soon. There it goes. Yeah, I'm surprised he waited this long to, to use it Same. because he needs that back up again as quickly as possible. He's some shots on the side. Ooh. Well, those are the, those are Minotaur. If you yeah. have a look at the middle of the board, Hitachi's yeah. Minotaur has come up here just like we saw him do previously. Yep. Yep, those shells just barely... Just barely unable to. There we go. Now we're starting to get some hits, but John's pushing forward now. John's cool. John's heels on cooldown for over a minute. This is the KSC opportunity. They they have to punch him out. Let's see if they can take advantage of it. Yep. Eagle Lance's Kremlin shots coming out of Aegis Wings and Napoli. Big hit there. Right through the bow. Now, if you have a look down at ACAP real briefly, you can see that 07 has kind of figured out that, well, they pretty much more or less got free rain out here. They're reorienting for a push up to the B cap. Both Marceau's closing in on the southern edge of the B cap now. Right. Um, and you can see Marin's like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to chase the Shimakaze. Which makes sense. Minotaur shells starting to land on John's broadside. He's managing to get them just over that island, falling in. Oh, no, he was. He's, he was getting a few over. Yeah. Yeah, but we see now here comes the HE spam. Yeah. Aragumo, once again, in yep. position. He's able to get behind this island and continue to farm with impunity. Oof. Kremlin shells going right through his bow. His next heal is in seven seconds, so he'll be able to get one more wave of it. I don't think they'll be able to get him off the board before the heal comes available. It's um, not. They cannot. No, but this, uh, this Kremlin uh, salvo might just end him through the heel and say, I don't care. With all the shenanigans happening on the 10 line, 07 takes the opportunity to pick up B eight minutes in, and 07 now on uh, retains that cap lead. JD Red 5 unable to get that kill with that salvo. That's a surprise. Yeah, it really didn't do that much damage. I think he was also surprised. He's Big rumble of... going on in B now. That cowboy? Yeah, cowboy. cowboy caught out here by one of the Marceaus. Ragnar backing him up, and then Hitaki also coming around to help. But unfortunately, Hitaki coming right beyond the island at this point. And there goes the There Salem. we go. KSC claiming first blood, finally managing to punch out the Salem. JD said, keep healing, I'm reloading. K yep, KSC on a lead here now. About 150-ish points, nine minutes in. I do like, I want to comment, I like John the Impaler and the Conqueror, the way that he's been kiting. I, I comment on this a lot of my replays, is that when you're kiting away, especially in competitive, but in randoms too, in ranked, you don't want to kite with the team. You don't want to head no. in the direction of your team. You want to head opposite and force more broadsides. You want to force the enemy team to have to spread out a little yep. bit more. And John the Impaler is doing a fantastic job of doing that. Of course, Aussie Zeus is working together. That's the power of friendship, ladies and gentlemen. Now, John's got some torpedoes coming up from a stern. He needs to make a small rudder correction here to dodge this salvo, and he does. <laughs> well, I uh, say yeah. oh. oh. All skill, no luck, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Marin dodging uh, the counter torpedo cell from Aussie Zeus is 20 kilometer torpedoes. KSC lead shrinks to about 130 points here as we cross the halfway mark of the game. B now coming and tested again as Cowboy steps in to the exact same spot of the cap he picked it up earlier. 
And now we've got uh, Mad Dog Shimakaze with those 12 kilometer torps trying to do exactly what Aussie Zeus is doing with his 20 kilometer torps mm -hmm. in the Shimakaze on the opposite side of the map. They're just going fishing. Yep. 07 really, I really don't oh, know. Oh, Aegis just got slapped by something. Yeah, what was that? I'm thinking the Stalingrad. I think it was. Let me look at Sep's guns. How, how, where? Yes, it's the Stalin. It's a, so, is he playing range mod Stalin? He is. That's how you play Stalin. Absolutely. Yeah, goodness gracious. This is like a 20 something kilometer shot. Shells, more shells coming in. Yep. That one doesn't do nearly as much damage. Now, ironically enough, Oh, JD oh no, JD's, torps. JD's got all of these Stalin, these uh, Shimakaze torpedoes coming in. I was just about to, to mention that the Stalingrad slap actually causes Aegis to dodge all, but it looks like one. one. Of these He's going to take one, but that one's going to hurt That's bad. That's going to hurt a lot. Yeah. It's going to hurt a ton as the Stalingrad starts in on the Kremlin broadside. KSA moving out to about a 150 point lead, but it's very tenuous. They are down about 70,000 hit points here. Yeah. And Look at these torpedoes from Aussie Zeus, though, coming in on Thrice right now and possibly Oxymoron's Des Moines. Ooh, yeah, they're kind be, of interesting. Be, well, uh, Oxy's, Oxy's Hydro is up. Thrice is going to take yep. one. No! No, he dodges it. He's oh. fine. He's fine. Wow. Good use of Hydro there when you're going in the smoke. Once again, 07 back on to B. That's Triarch's Marceau reversing in down in F6 on the southeastern corner of the cap. Yep. Matched also by Sep Stalingrad, who is also nosed in on his corner of the cap as well. Yep. Aegis makes Inky, moves farther to the north. He's getting out of there. He doesn't want any more of this. Uh, I wouldn't. I'll tell you straight up, if I, and I think, I think JD Red 5 here, like, he's making this turn. He has to make this turn, but this could be very, very impactful. You know, Eagle Lance has been kind of salivating waiting well, for this sort of moment the problem is eagle lance was turning the other way you can see he's taking his time he's trying to turn his guns i think by the time he gets all his guns to bear it's gonna be too yeah, late it's, i think it's already too late that's the point he should have yeah. just fired the butt turret yep sep's radar comes up at b looking for well just information i guess there's nobody in the cap oh mammoth rx7 opening up broadside to an incoming torpedo salvo he doesn't know it's here he's, he's still he knows it now starting. he's He's going to take one. He's, he's going to go out. He's going to go out right here, yep. right amidships. 07. 07 bags a kill. They points they desperately needed here. That closes the gap to about 70 points, seven and a half minutes to play. Yeah, Seth is being farmed down in the Stalingrad, but it's going to take a it's while take, before he's It's going to take gone. time. He's burning his... Whoa, Pieces took a torpedo. Yes, he did. Pieces takes a torpedo on the southern, east, southeastern corner of the cap here. That's going to push him out. And now, oh, that's big because now they pushed 07 off the B cap completely. Yep. yep. 70 point lead and growing here for KSC. Yeah, 07 gets back on the cap though. Pizza, of course, knows the importance of having this cap. Indeed. I'm wondering when we're going to see a radar from Warped. They've pushed this. There it is. No, that's, that's Minotaur. a Minotaur radar. They can see pieces now. Mm -hmm. He's bailing, running to the south. Yeah, but take a look at Eagle, Triarch, and Mad Dog now. They've yeah, turned around. They have turned around. They can they can freely push back north now. At the same time, so has John and Aussie Zeus on the other side of the map. Yep. KSC kind of sort of going for a bit of full send here, swapping their positions around as John's AP going downrange that I think sets Stalingrad. Yes. Yes. That could be a big hit if he lands enough of them. Oh, it's a decent. solid hit. He lands about 9K there. Yep. Yep. But John is the conqueror is kind of soft as he have a heal ready. He's burning one now. Yeah. Mm, he's pushing into a gearing in a Des Moines. KSC now 40 seconds away from a win as they continue to tick up the B cap and the C cap. Oh, seven. oh look at Sep. Look at Sep. Back on to B. Sep is getting Sep low. Goes Sep goes down. out. Oh, six seconds. It's all over. Unless 07 gets a kill, like, right this second, it's over. They don't. Oh. KSC, KSC. holds on, gets a big kill on the bottom end of the B cap. They go up 3-2. to two. They win this series. Their second major win here on the North American tournament, sir. I got to say, I got to say, Zath, I, that game, that game kind of went how I expected and kind of didn't, right? Mm. In the sense of... We saw KSC make a play for B. We saw that earlier. We sort of expected that. That worked out for them. The 10-line push mm -hmm. really didn't work out for them. I mean, let's be honest. They, they, they killed the Salem, but 
But as they cooked, as they pushed far enough south, they took basically catastrophic damage oh, yeah. and had to call the whole thing off. Yeah. And so then it became a matter of shifting pieces back to the middle of the board to fight over the B cap, to keep 07 off of it as long as they could to score as many points as they could and then maybe somewhere scrape a kill and they finally did it. Yeah, um, goes back to what we were discussing at the start. We were saying, what what is the prediction, Yeah. right? And I had said, KSC is probably going to run with a tried and true strategy, mm -hmm. and they're going to pivot, and pivot they did. Yep. And they managed to make it work. I couldn't believe that both that Kremlin and the uh, the Napoli... Survived. Survived. Survived they after were, that. They, they both just said, well... I guess we're not going to push. Guess we're not going to push, and right? They just turned around. We're I no mean, we're no longer combat effective. Let's go be somewhere else. And the fact that the Minotaur was basically allowed to do whatever the heck he wanted. Did anybody even shoot at that guy? No. I couldn't believe that Hataki was like full health into the game. It's crazy. Right. And <laughs> like, like I said, like literally Cowboy is just being soccer mom, driving him all <laughs> over the place and dropping him off to the game. And it worked. Pop your smoke. Let him off. Here you go. Have fun. And then a few minutes later, come back, pick him right back up again, <laughs> off to the next game. Where do you want to go? Let's go there together. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, should we, should we hear what I, our couch has to say? I can't wait to hear what they have to say. Let's go find out.